everything that we went through on the 6th of November, that we're all here to be together and enjoy the food and the fellowship. Amen. 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 We're just celebrating uh, uh, the fact that, you know, we've been neighbors for however long and we all survived and, um, you know, we all went through that day together and, and helped each other out and get each other out of our houses and uh, we're just celebrating the fact that we're all still here. Well, I'm very thankful that we are here, that all of us made it, and that the neighbors decided to celebrate the second anniversary of our loss, and now that we're all together, we're, we're full of joy. I mean, we see each other a lot, just, you know, saying hi, and the street's very, you know, everybody's friendly, and everybody talks to each other, but... Um, this is just something special, getting together like this and actually taking time out of our day to actually say we're going to take these couple hours just to spend some time together and just enjoy each other's company. We want to celebrate. You know, we've made it two years and everybody survived and we're all doing well and it's, it's been really good. We all um, became closer. We became closer friends and um, just awesome that we could all say that we actually lived through it and you know it, even though you lose all your things and you lose your house um, you know God was here that week that weekend and he saved you know he saved our lives and and we're all here and we can all just say things don't matter you know we're just glad to be here as friends and family I, I probably would have slept through it. My wife woke me up. She hit me. Um, I rolled off the bed, put my hands over my head like that, and then boom, it was over with. Uh, I had to unbury myself, and the first thing I looked up, saw there was no, you know, just looking out on the stars. And we went out, and it was just total devastation all up and down the block. Power lines down. Just, you know, you just can't imagine. And my husband hollered, get up. And I know by the tone of his voice that it was serious. And I got up and headed to the door, which is three steps. And next thing I'm laying across the door and my roof was gone and all my windows imploded and my door caved in. But as I reached for the door, I guess he pushed me, but we, we went in and we were laying across the door in the hall. And as we were running, everything was flying. The... Um, house was just kind of coming to pa apart and getting hit by two by fours and um, we made it downstairs and we got the two kids into the closet and we realized that our baby was still upstairs so we had not gotten him yet and um, at that time my husband went up um, had to climb through debris and lawn chairs and shingles and the wind was still whipping but um, when he got to his room um, the baby wasn't crying he was four months old but um, there was a brick wall that was placed on his bed and it, um, he ended up having to throw a bunch of stuff off the wall and um, somehow he lifted the wall off of him that night and it was just a miracle that he was completely fine. It took the roof off, it spared the front part of our house, the whole back part of our house was totally demolished and uh, my wife went to check on my son to see if he was okay. She opened the door to his room and she was looking out on the street. But he was still in his bed. Somehow he didn't get sucked out. But the whole wall of his room got sucked out. The neighbors next door, they were um, running down the hall to their safe place, which was a bathroom, and they didn't make it. And they were being pulled down the hall, and she was literally holding on to the door. And it sucked her dogs out of her arms. And when they got, after everything was over with that bathroom, there was a, a tree that went through the bathtub and that's where they would have been had they made it to the bathroom. And coming back to your house, I mean, even though my husband told me that the house was gone, until you actually see it, you can't even imagine what that even means. Um, so when we got, when I got here, it was really hard. It was just, I mean, you just feel like your whole life has just been turned upside down. Everything was taken away from you in minutes. Um, and it was just, it was amazing to see all the houses down the street. And just, it was unbelievable the devastation that happened. It was litter, clutter, trees, trees blocking the street. Um, my son came and cut, brought his tree cutting equipment and cut some of the trees so people could get out. Uh, nails everywhere. Filth, um, insulation.
wood, boards, nails. Just a mess. On this street, you wouldn't think that uh, there were too many survivors, actually. I mean, it was that, that bad. The house next door to us was just totally in ruins. Half of ours was in ruins. Everything down this way, it was just, you know, we're very lucky we got out of that with no deaths on this street.